Today we are going to practice distributing and combining like terms. According to PEMDAS, we have to multiply or div divide before we add or subtract. So inside the parentheses here, we can't add these two numbers because one has a variable and the other doesn't. So we need to distribute. We're going to take the six and we're going to times it by four X and times it by eight. Six times four X is 24 X and six times eight is 48. Then I'm going to copy everything else. Then I will find terms that have the same variable. So I have 24 X plus three X. So 24 X boxes plus three more X boxes is 27 X boxes. Then I have the integer 48 and plus seven more. So 48 plus seven is 55. I can't add these two parts together because the first one has a variable and the second one doesn't. So this is my final answer. Let's try another one. For this one, again, we distribute first, but the distributive property is kind of located in the middle. So we're gonna take this three that's kissing the parentheses and multiply it by each term inside the parentheses. Three times five X is 15 X and three times four is 12. Then I will copy everything else. Then I need to look for like terms. Let's do the variables first. We have 15 X plus seven X. That is 22 X. And for the integers, we have eight plus 12, which is 20. This is our final answer. We cannot combine those two together because one of them has a variable and the other doesn't. Let's try one with some negatives. Let's try negative three times two X plus four mm, minus three, let's see, plus 20 X. This one looks fun. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is distribute. So we'll do negative three times each of these. Negative three times two X is negative six X. Negative three times positive four is negative 12. And copy everything else. Let's combine our terms with variables first. Negative six X plus 20 X. If they play tug of war, the positive team is going to win because they have more players. How many more? Hmm. 20 minus six is 14. They have 14 more players. So 14 X. Then for the integers, we have negative 12 minus three more. So you can think about it as being negative 12 degrees out and the temperature drops three degrees, which would make it negative 15. Or you can view this as negative 12 minus three and change subtraction to addition and then make the next number the opposite. Negative 12 plus negative three, that's a horrible day. You lost $12 and then you lost $3. Altogether, you lost $15. So this is our final answer. We cannot combine those two parts together because one has a variable and the other does not. 